Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Trish at Career Minds Creations. And today I figured, well last night I was up and I was on Pinterest, I was on Google, and I was on YouTube, and I was trying to figure out what I want to do with another house. Okay, I'm going to be using the little one, and I already did a Halloween one. You know, I thought, well first I'm going to go back to the beginning where I figured I would work on this and um, do some chit chatting while y'all watch me uh, craft. So anyway, I was going through different uh, platforms or on the internet trying to find out, get some ideas on how to alter this house. And I figured I would do this one in a Christmas theme uh, because I already did one on Halloween. Uh, it was a swap and I sent that off. I just saw that one. So I figured I'd do one in Christmas and uh, we're going to do some chit chat while we craft. Okay, so what I'm going to do on um, this one, the same thing I did on the other one, on the one that's Halloween. I'm going to be um, doing some reconstructive work, you know, like uh, adding stuff uh, to it before I start um, actually covering it um, or decorating or whatever. So I want to add some things to it. Um, like on the other one, if you remember, I put a, a awning across the, the top uh, and over the uh, porch. Uh, Oh, the, the one window that I had on there and I thought I was going to I probably do it on the big one but I'm not going to do it on this one but um, on this one I don't like that I'm going to have to fix that right there that little bad spot right there but anyway what I thought about this I was going to um, put out like a little awning on this one it's not going to come out too far and I'm not well then again I think I will have some, some posts coming down I'm not sure yet um, on the big one that the okay, this was the eight. This is eight inch. The first one I did, I don't know how big it was. I think it was like five and a half or something like that. But this one is eight inches. You know, with the lid on it, from the base to the top of the chimney, it's eight inches. And the other one, the big one over here, is nesting. I'm gonna get some more of these too, because I got the last one that was a Hobby Lobby. But um, the big one over here is like 11 and a half. But so I'm gonna do this one in Christmas, and then the next, the last one I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do it. It's not gonna be in any particular theme. I'm just gonna redo it. And the thing when I do stuff like this, guys, is that I don't want to be all colorful and you know printed paper and things like that. I want to look realistic. So that's what this is gonna be. Um, almost like a dollhouse. So. Um, I got my little thing of chipboard scraps over here, and I'm going through my piece. Oh, I just found a small piece. Well, no, this is not going to work because it's got this. This would work because it's going to be covered anyway, but I don't want it because it's too thin, and I don't want to be too flimsy with the holes in it, so I'm not going to use that piece. But this piece might work. I'm thinking this is probably too thicker than what I'm already using here. It's, it's almost the same width but then here's another piece that's not a stick and this will work, probably work better so I'm thinking I'll probably use this piece and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a kind of like a little on and go across here go up and I'm going to reshape this door too because I don't like this square door so um I'm going to grab a pencil and I don't feel like drawing, guys, so I'm going to see if I could find a circle or something to draw this on here. Because I'm not trying to do anything freehand right now. I got this little piece. Nah, that ain't big enough. That's not big enough. And I probably got... Oh, let me see. Let's see if I got any circle punches over here. Let's see. Yeah, that circle punch would need to be big enough. Okay, I guess I might have to draw on here. Or I'm going to... Hold on, guys. I'm going to find something that I don't have to... Ha! Huh, wait a minute. Hold on. I might find something. That, that's too big. Maybe I can use a washi roll or something. So what I want to do is I want to make the top part of the door curved. I don't want it straight across like that. So that's what I'm trying to find. Like a half circle or something. Or a circle where I can draw that where I don't have to freehand it. Uh, let's, let's get, get a thing of washi. <gasps> Perfect. I think I found something. Whoa. I'm going to snatch my 
thing over here. Now, guys, um, I like I said, I have ideas when I do stuff like this, but I don't have really, really thing, anything planned when I work on stuff like this. I do, things just come to me as I go. So, um, like I said, I was just online last night, and I think that'll be good. That little half circle right there. You'll see. But anyways, um. I am uh, let me see what's my exacto. I had a sharp one. What did I do with it? I have many exactos, but it's, some are not so sharp and some are. But um, uh, yeah, I don't um plan things. I you know I I do things as I go when it comes to things like this. And I guess I'm gonna have to use it. You know, they just a sharp one. Then again, it might be. So hopefully, I can kind of. I'm gonna to try to like put an indention in it first before I go trying to cut it. So I'm gonna do like a layer at a time. But uh I just figured I'll work on this while I'm on camera. Oh, <laughs> but I do <laughs> I do wanna um give her another shout out to Brittany because I watched her uh her challenge video uh why I had tagged her in the uh, in my um recent uh 10 crafty questions challenge and she had commented on my video that she uh felt like she followed in my footsteps in life because we with, with, with as far as I crafting we went through the same things and there was some things that she mentioned that I didn't mention, like the crocheting, because she said she, you know, started with crocheting and she put it down and she picked it back up and she, uh, was saying something about, um, not knowing how to read patterns or anything or, you know, whatever. So it was like, yeah, that's me too. I didn't, I, I and like her also, she's, I have to learn things hands on. I don't. I can't, I don't like reading directions, especially for something learn new. Um, I'm a self-taught crocheter. I learned how to crochet. I taught myself about watching videos on YouTube. And I didn't know what, you know, I basically knew what a, like a single crochet was, double crochet, and all that other stuff. And then as I, the more I did it, uh, crocheting, I learned the stitches, the abbreviations, and all that other stuff. So, therefore... Um, once I learned all that, I gradually knew how to read a pattern. So, it got to the point, well, I got to the point now where I can, uh, make my own pattern. Because I know how to read one now. And it's not like I taught myself how to read it. I just learned the stitches and once you learn the stitches, then I'll, I'll, you, you, you know, you get to the point where you actually know how to read a pattern. So I know how to read a pattern. Um, again, I, I guess I taught, my, taught myself that too. And, uh, yeah, that's messy. And, um, I need a sharper knife. And so now I have crochet blankets. Um, I can whip up a blanket like pretty fast depending on the complexity of it. Um, I have oodles and oodles of blankets, which I need to list back in my shop. I keep saying that, guys. I keep saying I got to, I'm just going to get a file. Um, that I need to uh, get my shop back up and running. And like I told y'all before, I know I've mentioned it. Where are my sandpaper and my file? Oh, I'm spinning too fast. And um, it's like... I just don't like to do that part. I just want to make it and list it. I mean, make it and sell it. I don't like to be listing things, because that's the tedious part. You got to go in and you got to put descriptions and sizes and all that other stuff. And so, that's why I haven't did it yet, guys. I'm going to. I, I'm going to. I, I really am. Um, I'm going to get around to it one of these days. One of these days soon. Okay. 
So right now I'm just trying to clean up this edge because that knife wasn't actually sharp as I needed it to be. And I had another knife that I had earlier and I was cleaning up my area again. And I don't know what I did with it because I didn't put it back with the one I got. So it looks funky on the inside but it looks okay on the outside. So if I can get in there and kind of cut that up with the scissors. So yeah, I like the arch. I like it. That's better than that square stuff. Okay. Now I'm trying to figure out. So I think I'm gonna come out as far as this is. So I'm gonna need my ruler. Is like three quarters of an inch, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna cut this three quarters of an inch. Oh, and guys, um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot on this. I'm just gonna do the the constructive part as far as adding things to it, and then there's gonna be parts to this video. But yeah, Brittany, yeah, I did. I went through the crocheting phase too, and I mean, I can crochet in my sleep. I, and the thing about it is, is that like with anything when I get tired of crocheting I have to find something else to do I, I, don't, I don't really crochet a lot these days unless uh, somebody commissioned me to do something you know make something for them like I got an order that um, somebody's gonna want me to do I'm just waiting on payment to get it started <sighs> ah, I think I messed it up it's not Let me leave it alone because I'm shaving at it and then it's this this time to not get even un uneven so I need a smaller thing wait a minute I might have some but uh yeah and it was something else she mentioned uh she was the crocheting thing that we've been through oh and the scrapbooking I scrapbook too and I didn't use like a big four I mean big 12 by 12 um scrapbooks I use a, a, a binder I still have one I have one right here somewhere where I, I was scrapbooking and I used just like a regular binder and uh, so I did that I was adding you know did you know traditional scrapbooking but you know that was it so making my own vegetables and things like that and I cut a few pieces on my Cricut and stuff so yeah I did the scrapbooking thing too and like I said all that gradually got me into paper crafting all right, so let me get my paper trimmer. Oh, and that's another thing, guys. I don't know what happened to my video. I think at that one point where... Um, let me draw a line on this. Uh, it was... Uh, well, my battery died. I mean, not my battery died, but... but um, three quarters of an inch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, three quarters of an inch. It um, it uh, my memory card ran out, and so I had to get another memory card, and it was like it uh cut off some of my video. So I didn't. I when I watched the video back, and it's like it skipped some. I'm like turn it, and I need to start being more weary of checking my videos before I uh edit them. Because I did not know that it would, it didn't record that part. But anyway, I um this might yeah this should be long enough because I'm gonna go up. So anyway, I um didn't know it was a part missing until I played it back and I was watching it myself, and it was a part where uh I was talking I was listing my top five uh. YouTube channels. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go. Wait a minute. I'm going to draw on this a little bit, guys. So I need this line to go straight up because I don't even know where my line is going to be. So I'll come up right here. And um, I think it got cut off when I was well, listing my. I was I think I was just going to start talking about Ida. Uh, at created, uh, created to create, 
And so, I'm going to put a line. I'm just going to draw on this. I'm going to put a line right in the middle of this. So, nope, that's too low. That's good. I need another ruler, guys. All the, the markings, I rub it off for this one. I have another one in the house that I use for it when I'm crafting it in the house. But the thing about that one is... I'm going to put it this right there. The thing about that one is, is that when I wasn't paying attention and I was using an exacto knife, instead of using the metal end, I was... Uh, trying to cut my with my exacto knife on the plastic end and I cut it. So that's why I laid that one in the house because I don't use it that much. But I need to go get me another Tim Holster. I love these rules but my markings are rubbing off. Or oh, I'm gonna try to rub put the draw them back on and then cover it with tape. I don't know I'm gonna try that first. But anyway so uh I was uh talking about Ida I Ida that um created to create and uh I got it got the video got cut off. All right, let's see how why this is because I need to make a peek in the middle of this. Um, so I said, well, darn it, I didn't uh, get a chance to finish. Uh, wait, it is one and see, I can turn it back around because I can't even see on that edge. So it's about one and one eighth. So I'm going to cut this down to or mark it. Let's do put the six in. So let's put it on some. So I then uh, get the uh, that part in while I was telling y'all who my top favorite videos is. I keep saying that. I gotta just get on with it, Trish. But anyway, so um, I was talking about Ida. And how I liked her videos. And then, uh, I can't remember if she was the third one. Fourth one. Okay, I had mentioned, uh, Natasha. Then, uh, Ginger at my sister's scrapper. I think it was Ida who I was talking about. Yeah, she was the third one. And, uh, yeah, so, pick back up with her. Ida, she, she's, she just, a, she's a sweet soul. And, um, I'm going to come, like, probably right below this, the windows. I don't want to come up too high. Well, no, what come on up too, between the windows. And so, that's what I got cut off at. But anyway, so, I was saying how such, she was just a sweet lady, and she was, uh, How she's bold you know, uh, in her channels to talk about the Lord and share her the word with every, you know, with her subscribers. You know, I appreciate that. Um, so that was, you know, that's kind of cool of her um, to be like that. Okay, so good. Now I'm going to erase some of these out because I don't want them to get me all discombobulated and stuff. I mean, sometimes it can and sometimes I can get easily confused. And uh, right when I'm kind of here running at the mouth and trying to do some at the same time. I'm usually good at multitasking, but I don't want to get thrown off on this. So I'm just going to erase these lines. But anyway, so yeah, I was talking about Ida. Uh, as, you know, no way. Okay, it was four. She was the fourth one because I remember I mentioned uh, Kathy Water. So it was, it was four. So she was number four. So yeah, so it was Ida. And then, um, it was, okay, so my fifth one, I'm going to let y'all know now who my fifth, uh, top, uh, five video that I like to watch is, um, let me think. I know who I'm going to say who it is. I just can't think of the name right now. Um, okay, so now this is what I got, guys. So see that line right there? Oops. How I'm going to put that. So, um. Let's see here. So my fifth uh, YouTube channel that um, is one of my top five 
Well, you know what? No, wait, no, wait. Let's do that. Let's not do that. I gotta put that second one there yet. And I'm just gonna cut these with scissors because if I use my trimmer, because this is a really thick card uh, chipboard, and I don't wanna. Yeah, this is stay straight better with this. Um, so yeah, I uh, my fifth. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure this with this. Do, 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 do. My fifth uh, channel was um, that I was going to uh, say was uh, Monica is scrapping for my boys. Um, I like her metal uh, projects, um, and I have bought metal from her on a couple of occasions. Occasions, and um, I gotta start using those more often. But yeah, she. Uh, those are my. Um, top five. YouTube channels that I watch the most and like uh, somebody else said I don't I can I watch but I don't comment a lot so even I may be lurking but I don't comment a lot every once in a while I'll say something but I'm just mostly into just watching okay so now what I'm going to do it's probably not a good idea to use this hot glue gun but I'm going to at least start this with the hot glue I'm gonna go right on this line and I'm going to put this straight up on here. Kind of hold it in place for a minute. Put my hand on here to push it together. Uh, so yeah, those are my five top, top, top five videos. It was uh, Latasha Foods who makes cards. Um, Darby uh, at uh, Rejoice and Create. And... Kathy Order King, Ida at Create to Create, and Monica Roca at Scrapping for My Boys. Let's hold this for a minute. Let's see, and it's straight. Cool. I'm gonna reinforce it later, guys. But yeah, so I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna put this on the other side. That's my sister calling. I don't know if you heard my phone buzzing, but I just told her that I'll call her back later. And I told her I was going to start filming. So, what, what makes you think that I was going to answer my phone? Plus, it's charging. So. Okay, so I'm going to try and see this line. So I'm just going to hold this here for a minute. Make sure it's on that line. Push up from inside the house and hold it there till it cools off. It cracks me up when people I watch videos and um uh crafters they use a hot glue gun. I said, "Go for this to dry, okay? It's not drying; it's cooling off." <laughs> but okay, I used to say it too, but I, I I'm more conscious of now what I'm saying. I try to say. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do here I'm not going to cut this all the way through I'm going to cut this with the knife not cut this, I'm just going to try to bend it so I'm going to get my pencil and uh, put this in mark this right here And then turn around and let's see. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. It'll be alright, guys, because I'm gonna put something on there anyway. I might put a couple of anchors under there. I don't know. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my ruler. I'm just gonna see if I can just measure it from the other side so that mark is like five eighths inch so I'm gonna go five eighths inch from there let me make sure yeah five eighths inch and then 
make another five eighths inch right there. Get my trim again. And I'm going to cut this right here. And then I'm just going to use my exacto. Kind of cut it down the middle, but not all the way through. And just bend it like so. And let's see if that works. Yahoo! It works. Okay. So. Now I'm going to so I'm going to get my glue get in there and put some glue there and right there. And see, so I like with these little houses because you can construct them to any way you want. And that was another thing I said in my video, guys. Um, when I was talking about my um my YouTube name, I had said something that got cut off too. When I had said that uh, I was not, um, I didn't think I was, I don't think that I'm living up to my name anymore. Creative Minds Creations. Because like I said, I, if you remember how I, uh, I said how I got that name was, you know, one of my crafty friends back then when I first started crafting, paper crafting. And I was coming up with all these cool ideas and they said, you have very creative minds. And so that's where I got that from. But now I haven't been so creative. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm living up to my name anymore. And that's bothering me. So it really got to bother me too when I, um, got in a funk and I, I wasn't in the crafting. My mojo just was not, it, it took a hiatus. It did. It really did. I'm going to try to spread this glue out. This is going to get covered anyway, guys. I'm going to, um, let's just hold it here for a minute until it cools off. And, uh, oops, it doesn't work. It moved. I'm going to have to glue it from the other side because it's not going to be strong under there anyway. Um, but yeah, um, I had mentioned that in the video and that part got cut off too. Um, so I, I, I need to get back to where I, you know, used to create all the time and I was coming up with cool ideas and stuff because like I said, I just don't feel like I'm living up to my name anymore. I've been slacking or something. I don't know what's been going on. I hate to touch this glue, but I'm going to get that in there. I have my hot, my hot glue gun has gotten so hot so times where as soon as that glue hit my finger, I got an instant blister. Like, crap, that's hot. So I'm going to hold this till it cools off and it's still wet. I have to make sure it feels good and not tacky anymore. It's not pulling away. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to cover all this anyway. It's going to get painted. I don't know if I'm going to paint it, cover it, or whatever, but it's going to get... Okay, yeah, that's better. It is going to uh, get covered. Just like the the, the box, the paper mache. I got some brown paper that I'm going to cover. You know, paper mache this part too that I'm adding on. Because I don't want any raw edges. Like these parts right here. That's a little off. This part right, I cut across that uh, the top of this. I don't want that little dent in there. So that's that. Okay. Now I'm going to get some wood pieces because I want to put two posts down the side to kind of like hold this up. As, like so I saw this idea on like I said I was going through Pinterest and Google and YouTube and I think I saw one on the Pinterest where it had this thing across here I don't know if it was one of the bigger house um I can't remember if it was the bigger house the 11 and a half inch or this one but uh 
they had this across there. I don't think they even came out this far on theirs either, but I think, like, I like that idea. And I don't even think they use car stuff. They it look like they use, like, cut pieces of wood, and they just put them on there, and they have one by one. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. But um, uh, that's another thing I was going to tell you. On the other house, the bigger house, I'm going to do, I want to do a wraparound balcony all the way around it. Um, so I know I want to do that on one of them. I said, but I'm going to do this on this one. Gotta hope I can cover that up. I see this part is not. So this is swinging around on like that. So I'm gonna have to get that glue in there and let it cool off and hold that for a minute. It really doesn't have to uh, be sturdy because again, I'm going to cover it with uh, craft paper. Um, so it's going to be covered like the rest of the box, paper mache. So it really doesn't have to be oh, that perfect. So that's that, that right there. And I'm trying to think, should I cover that now? Um, before I put the post on there? Because it's going to be in the way if I don't. Uh, I think I better. So let me get my brown paper. And I'm going to go ahead and get my sticks while I'm up to my wood sticks. Uh, let me see. Where's my craft paper? Ah, there it is. And I'm going to need, I'm also going to need my Mod Podge. Do I want the big one or the little one? Because I really don't. Yeah, see, I'm not going to get the big bottle because it's hard to open. I don't feel like fooling with it. So I'm just going to get my small bottle. A matte finish bottle and I need to find my wood pieces because I'm going to put in a couple of posts in there to make that even more sturdy or you know like a, um, a dowel under there so that it will be more sturdy and, uh, let's see Hmm. Wrong container, Trish. I'm going to uh, put that on there. And I don't think these are going to be big enough. I pull it out anyway and if not then I'll find some I got some other wood pieces around here somewhere I got like three different places in my scrap room where I have wood pieces and I am uh, looking in the wrong spot for what I'm looking for so I might use a square post because I have some square pieces square dowels too uh, let's see dee, 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 dee. There it is. Okay. Let me see what I did. Oh, that's not fun. I guess I, I know I have some square dowels somewhere. I'm finna get mad because I can't find them. But this might work. You see that? That might work. Uh let me look at this other I might have another some more wood pieces somewhere else I forgot what uh got somewhere I could have sworn I had um, some square dowel pieces unless they're in the house I know I got some and I'm not going in the house to look for them well, I guess we're going to have to use what I got because I'm not going in the house. Because I know I got squared out somewhere. So, we're just going to use these round ones. No, wait a minute. Got to get the paper. And I'm just going to cut a piece of this paper off. 
I got this is a big old roll. I can't remember where I got this from. Oh, a whole bunch. If y'all remember way back when when I showed uh did a tutorial on how to make a um a book box, this is what I covered it with. Make it and then it, let me see, I I made one and it looks just like a book box that I bought in the stores. I made the book box and then I covered it completely with this paper. And it looks like uh Just like it's store bought, and I hate that I got like glue right there, so I'm gonna kind of like pull it off. Like I said, it's just to hold it there until I get the paper on. I'm not too much worried about what it looks like underside because you're not gonna be able to see that anyway once I start decorating it. But I really don't want all this crap on the top. All this glue bulging and stuff. So, make sure it's holding under there and peel it off the top right here. I'm trying to see if I can cut it down without it coming off. But yeah, so if I could just continue to do things like this, then I can feel like I'm living up to the standards of my YouTube name. Because like I said, I just don't feel like I'm doing that name any justice these days. And I'm not changing it. I've had it for too long. I've had the name for about as long as I've been crafting, so I'm not going to change it. So, now I'm going to cut this to length. I'm going to probably need to cut this straighter than this. I'm going to get my other trimmer out. I'm going to cut this fold in half because I'm going to be wrapping this around this anyway. And this is like... I'm going to it like this too. So I can get it all in here. And I'm going to cut it down. This was like 5 eighths inch. Uh, so we're going to make it slightly bigger. So we have enough. That will wrap around. And anchor it to the house. Let's see. Okay, so first, I think I'm going to gonna be having to cut some pieces in here. I'm going to have to cut some. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. I'm going to have to slice some parts in the middle to make it fit. So right here. So... I'm going to snip it a little bit. Y'all see where I'm going with this once I get it on here. And see, this is what I'm talking about right here. Um, I just come up with stuff as I go. And now, because the plastic is not off of that, doesn't mean I haven't used this. I don't like squirting out of the little holes and stuff. So I always, uh, most of the time, just take the top off. I'm like that with paint too. I hate squeezing paint out of a bottle. I would just open the bottle up. All right, now let's get a brush. Yeah. I'm gonna find a good brush. Why is all this stuff in my way? Oh, there it is. Okay. And I'm going to let's see. How am I gonna do this? Probably 
let's you know what I'm gonna measure this five eighths inch out so that I know what a mark what a fold it at five eighths inch from the edge I think the straight see this pencil is, is rubbing off of here and it's probably too much that I got left on there so I'm gonna cut some more off I don't want that much to be on there. And I'm going to fold this back. Oh, let's fold on the line first so I can see where the line is. So this is going to be the part that's going to be entering it to the house. You know, let me fold it back up this way. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. I'm just going to follow the line that I just folded. So, if you guys uh, ever want to alter a paper mache house when giving you ideas on how to go about doing some construction work to it before you actually start decorating it with my bone folder. Put a good crease in that on the edge too. Okay, and so then I want to get to the edge. I'm just going to cut it off. So I'm going to start from the middle. And again, guys, this is how this is going to go. And so what I'm going to have to do is on the underside, I'm going to have to cut it all the way in. Because it's going to go like this. Oh, you know what? I don't even think that was long enough. I think I cut it off too much. I should have been measuring up before I did that. Guess what, guys? I'm going to start over. I, now it's not even wide enough to go to anchor to the house. It's just, just wide enough to cover the whole piece that I put on there. But I need a piece that's going to anchor to the house. So, I got to put another piece. Darn it. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. So, if I do this again on the next house... I know. Of course, I knew better than to cut that before I, uh, I mean, to measure to check that before I cut it anyway. So, that's what I get for not doing what my brain was telling me to do. So, we're going to, again, we're going to cut this. And then, we're gonna, yeah. I'm going to fold it. You know, I'm going to cut this thing off straight. I'm going to look a little bit straight. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Like I said, I'm going to start from the center and go out. And this time, I'm not going to even really use it. I'm just going to cut it the width of my ruler. Wait a minute. Did I do it again? Did I just do it again? Okay, it's wider. Let me say. It's not straight, but it don't need to be. But that's bothering me, so I need to cut it a little bit straighter than that. Okay. Alright. So now, this time, fold it in half, snip it just a little bit. Make sure I got on snip it on the right side. 
And then on one side, I'm going to have to cut it all the way up to that center. That center fold. All right, so I'm going to use this piece. I'm just going to mark it with my finger. Wait a minute, I did that wrong. This way. This way, Trish. This way, this way. Okay. So now... See what I'm doing. Okay. And this is I, I'm kind of like um Scrap Queen. She's another one. Uh um I forgot her first name, but um uh, she's Scrap Queen, and I like to watch her videos when she's uh, doing tutorials for her uh, mini out because she. She makes up as things that she go to. She don't do measurements. Um, every once in a while she do measurements, you know. But when it comes down to um, doing things like this, and she just gonna, she just, she, she just guesstimates, and that's what I do. And if I mess up, then I just start over. And you know, with, with like something like this, that yeah. Um, it's okay, just you know, if you mess up because I got a big old roll of this stuff. But when you're using your designer paper, yeah, you better make sure you got that stuff um, measured correctly. Like they say, measure twice, cut once, because you don't want to be messing that paper up. So, and so now. This is going to be folded like this. I'm going to fold this in half like a shoe. And then this is going to go on here like so. And put it in. You know what, guys? Nothing. I'm going to cut this in half because this is folded on the inside. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to cut. Probably cut too much at an angle, but. It's not going to be seen anyway, so not a big deal. Alrighty. Okay. Yay! Okay, I got it. So, I'm going to try to put this on without moving this too much because I don't want to mess that up. So now, I'm going to get my paintbrush and my... Um, my podge. And I'm just going to put this on. I'm going to do one side first. And I'm going to put it on kind of thick. Because I'm not going to put any on the other piece on the paper. I'm just going to paint it on here. I'm going to put it on pretty thick. And then I'm going to see if I can get this to go on here. Oops, I need to. Well, I should have did this before I put it on because I should have not put another fold in this. And it's right there. So we're going to fold this back right there. And then I'm going to put this down. And I'm just going to hold it and then tell it kind of like um, you do when you um. <gasps> oh, I'll make another snip. Make another snip right there at that fold that I just did. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, guys, because this is going to get covered anyway. I'm just putting this on here to 
uh, enforce my additions that I'm adding to this house. And I'm just smoothing it out. And guess what? This is not even. So I'm going to cut out a notch there. I can see what I'm doing. Cutting out a notch. Like I should have did on like I did on the bottom. I should have did this if I cut it down. But like I said, um, because this is my first time doing this, I'm learning as I go. And guess what? I'm getting hot. Okay, so I'm gonna find that other crease. And I'm going to take this and fold this back. I'm gonna get that straight. Hold that right there. And then I'm gonna cut a notch out right here at that fold that I just put in there. And again, I'm still, it's like a bone folder. You get your bone folder. Oh, I'm just knocking this glue around. It's gonna roll up on it. And I'm just smoothing it out. Like I said, and at this point, like I said, the, the, um, the hot glue is coming undone. Which is no biggie because, like I said, it was just a temporary hole until I get this reinforcing part on there. But I don't want to come completely off before I get it on here. Okay, so now we're going to pull this side up. And we're going to paint the other side. Or cover the other side with glue. So, again... I don't know if y'all saw it the first time, but I'm just putting on a coat of glue on this part. Kind of thick because I'm not going to put any on the paper. Like that. And then I'm going to bring this down. And while you're putting this on, I'm trying to make sure I keep this straight. I'm just going to take this and smooth that out. Make sure it stays in that. Let me turn around so I can see it. I'm smoothing out this glue. Out the paper. Make sure it's a smooth finish like the house. Okay, now I'm gonna cut some of this off. I'll cut, I'll cut it down some more once I get finished with it. Cut all the way down to the edge, but now that I got it on there, I'm just gonna kind of cut that off. Okay, now I'm gonna have to cut some of this down again because I didn't measure this correctly. But no worries, it's still on there. All I gotta do is cut this down. So I'm gonna cut this down. You know what? I'm not gonna cut it yet until I get it on in there. Okay, now I'm gonna get my smaller scissors. Because I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna cut this down below the window. Right there. Cut this down below the window. I don't want to cover my window. Okay. We cut a little bit more. I want it to clear my window completely. Ah. Now I got it stuck in there. Come on, a little piece of paper. Okay. Alright, so clear that. Now I'm going to get my paintbrush and I'm going to glue these flaps down. And then I'm going to get my bone folder. And this is going to make sure you got it, you're putting it on straight that's holding that up because you want it leaning forward. So you got to pull it tight so that it, uh, it is coming straight up and not leaning down or back. 
So I'm gonna be looking at this from my this angle, make sure I got it on there so it is on there. Get in there with my bone form and get into that crease. Smooth that down. Ah, I got up under it. Let's put some more glue on there. Yeah. Next flap, I'm going to lift that up, and get some glue in there, under there, I'm going to make sure it's up straight, bone folder, and crease that in there. It's not going to hurt if you get your fingers in there, smooth that down, make sure you get those edges down. And I'm going to lift this part up. Put that on there. Smooth that down. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold, I'm going to have to snip this in a little bit further to that chipboard, and we're going to need to cut it a wedge right here where the other fold goes in, right there at that fold. And I'm going to need to cut some of that off. I see that? I cut it right there. I'm going to have to fold that in like that. So I'm going to have to cut some of that off first. You know what? I'm going to have a wrap on the side that, that, um, so I can uh, kind of like. No, I'll cut that off. I'm gonna leave that so I can wrap inside that part, the, that that the uh, rounded part of the door, so I can kind of like smooth that edge out too. So I'm gonna bring this back up, get my paintbrush, put in some glue in there, and all inside that the, the door, and we're just gonna be wrapped all the way on our all the way into the inside of the house. Folder, smooth it down, and the crevices smooth it out. Make sure you smooth it all down. Then I'm going to reach inside that and see where it's at. And when we get my paintbrush again, I'm going to paint that and fold that in. Yay. See that? I don't know if you can see the inside of that. And that's the other side of that. Now we're going to cut this other side. I'm just cutting it straight down to where that fold is. All the way down to the chipboard. And we're going to fold that in. Get my paintbrush. all in there wrap around that door the top part of it and then I'm going to push that down in there make sure it's in there real good get that part down to the door oh wait a minute it's going to be a little bulky on here because I didn't pull the glue off on here. But again, no worries because it's not going to be seen that much anyway when the house is sitting straight up. So I'm going to make sure that's down. Good. And then, again, I'm going to go on the inside of the house. Push that in. Some more Mod Podge. And 
put it either on the flap or on the house and let's fold that up. see that inside and uh, all right so now we're gonna go back to the rest of it and I'm gonna go ahead and cut down to clear my window well I'm not gonna cut it all the way down but I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more let's see let's cut right to there okay yeah I think I cleared it enough all right, so again, more Mod, more Mod Podge. Now I'm going to put this, coat it right here, and make sure you get the edges here too. Let's get all that. Over and down. I'm just gonna smooth it out with my fingers. I wanna um press it on my bone for it because I don't want to press it out of place, tearing it away from the house. But I work with my bone for it and make sure it's in that crease. Get it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut some more of this off, some more. I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap that around the house, you know, cut it on the edges right here. These are my smaller scissors. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'll decide if I want to cut it all the way off or glue it to the house. I know we're going to have to cut that. Like I'm saying, like bring that around like that. I might do that. So now, I think I will. I'm going to lift this back up. Mod Podge. And now I'm going to put it some on the house. I want to come on around because I want to wrap that around the house. Bone folder. And bring it on around like a soul. And because I cut this in, this is the top part. So. Bring that down so the sides are wrapped to the house. See that, guys? And now I'm going to get my. Um, you know what? First of all, I do that before I cut that off. I'm going to put some glue down in there so I can get it. And I'm going to pinch that close, close to the chipboard. I'm just gonna use my nails. Close it, twist the chipboard, and then I'm gonna get my scissors and cut it off. Why well, should I wrap it around under? You know what? I think I wrap it under. No mind. I wrap that under. I rather wrap it under. Again, it's not gonna be seen anyway, but I just rather have a more cleaner edge. Let's kind of do that and wrap it around. I'm just going to hold it a minute with my finger. And there I have it. And that is one side done. And now I'm going to do the other side. So again, I'm going to hold this down, go ahead and cut some of it off. And it clears the window. And we're going to Mod Podge. Mod Podge with my papers. And again, we're just going to
put some Mod Podge there. Make sure you get that edge. It's gonna look kind of bumpy under because of the glue, but again, not gonna be seen. All right. So now I'm going to take this and fold it over. Almost kind of like you're covering a mini album. And I'm just going to smooth it out with my fingers because I don't want to press on it. Now I'm going to get my bone folder and get into that crease. <sighs> okay. Now, because we got that, I'm going to pinch that in so I can cut it right there to the. the Go back with my paintbrush. Why do I keep misplacing that thing? My Mod Podge. And then I'm going to put some in the house and fold that down. Wrap it around the house. It won't hurt to put a little bit on top. Okay, now under side. I'll put some Mod Podge down under there and glue it just above the window. And I'm going to get my bone folder. I'm going to hold on the inside. I'm going to get that down. Again, if glue it pushes out, just go ahead and Use your finger or whatever to uh, get those edges done real good. Okay, now we're gonna open this up and get down in there. So we're gonna squeeze that together. Squeeze it together. I'm going to put an angle <clears throat> and glue that under. I'm going to fold that under and hold that there for a second or a few seconds. Okay. And there we go. Okay, now it's looking a little ugly under there. And again, because you really can't, you're not gonna really see it, it's gonna cover anything, but that's irking me. So, ha uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this piece, get a piece from somewhere. I'm gonna cut a piece of slightly smaller width than that and I'm just going to glue this in there it doesn't have to be straight but again I'm particular about some things even doesn't doesn't have to be straight so I'm going to put that fold down in there and then I'm gonna, you know what I cut that, that I cut it too small down and Sliding out of my chair. Okay. So this is still a little too wide. So I'm gonna cut it just a teensy bit more. See, this is when I should be using my trimmer. 
I need to get that one. And again. See, I don't want to come on over the edge, so I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna trim and trim and trim until I get it off. Like you know what? It'll probably go faster. Even if I don't use a trimmer. If I had straighter edges, then it would work better. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna draw a line down each side to make sure it's straight. Because if it was, you had straight lines, then you know it was, it'll fit better. And it's still coming over the edge. Let me turn around this way. I'm getting it all the way down because I don't want to keep cutting it off and then I'm not even looking at the right angle. Yeah, okay. Now I need to cut it down so because I don't need to be that long either. So I'm just gonna cut it right to here. Okay. Mod Podge. I get my little my little bottles of Mod Podge at um Dollar Tree, y'all. I'm just gonna get a nice good coat in there. I don't care if it's running. I'm gonna stick this down there. Get your bone for make sure you get it down in that crease. And smooth it out. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Hold that side. And hold that side. My dogs are being silly. They out there running around playing. I don't know what's wrong with my right rattle. He's a nut. That goof that dog is goofy. Rocky is a nut. He just run around in circles, bo and Boomer, mother told so the poor looking like, what is wrong with you? No, he got some. He playing with some. He got something in his mouth. <sighs> okay, and now my podge. And what I do down this side. All up in there, and then we're going to smooth that out with my fingers. And then on this side, do the same thing. And fold that around. It's still kind of looking ugly under here, but again, it doesn't look as bad, and you're not going to see it anyway, or it's not going to be seen. And there we go, guys. And so now I have my ledge. Isn't that key? Isn't that neat? Okay. Let me close up my glue, and I need to put my brush in some water. Um, see, I usually get out a wet um, baby wipe and wrap it in that until I get to use it. I mean, clean it off, but I didn't get one out. All right, so now I need to measure from here to here how, and I don't want to, I want it level. I'm thinking it's going to be two and 
One, two, four, six, eight, ten. Thirteen sixteens. Two and thirteen sixteens. Ugh, that's a crazy number. Okay. Two and thirteen sixteens. Right here. Okay. I'm not just going to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to roll this with my exacto. See if it works. You know what? It's a little too tall. Not a biggie. Let me show you something. I'm just gonna get my file from the end that I cut off. I'm just gonna file it and it plus it smooth smooth it out too. So I'm just gonna file it down until it fits without pushing it up. I'd rather have it too long than too short and, and still pushing it up. Ah, I think I cut out. I cut on the wrong side of the line. I'm having some more than I want. I mean, sand more than I want to. Make the mistake on the next piece. It's still pushing it up, guys. I don't want it. I want it level. All right, let to do this for me. So, and this is what I'm talking about right here. Now, this is the stuff I used to do before I start slacking. And I guess that happened because I got stuck doing this. Well, I'm going to say got stuck. But I was constantly doing the same things as far as crafting. Same. Hmm. I guess I have to do this like this because this is just not going to be too much. And, uh. I was just uh, getting burnt out and that's probably why I feel like I'm not really to up to my potential of my name because I've just been doing the same stuff over and over again. And that's one, another reason guys why I do so much stuff because I will get burnt out on something real quick. I was at one point all I was doing was crocheting, 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 crocheting. I was making blankets, pot holders, hats, gloves, uh, cowls, anything. I was making it all. And okay, then I got to the point where okay, I'm sick of crocheting. And it's not really all that much fun crocheting in the summertime if you don't have central air, which I do, but yeah. Because sometimes when it's like weather like this, well, um, where I'm at. Um, we went from being 99 to 102 degrees uh, weather to now it's like 50, 60 degrees. Like, what is going on with Mother Nature? Perfect. So, um, that's when I uh, would sit outside on my swing. And I would crush outside. I mean, you know, they weren't about getting being cold because I was, you know, depending on how much I had of the blanket, I was uh, covered up. But the blanket. Let's go ahead and sign this in. Sand this in clean first. So it's all cutting from the sand. And then we're going to measure it the same with as the other one. And the 
put on that side of one eye. And so, when I got tired of uh, crocheting, I come back to my paper crafting. Into it too, because it's around Christmas time, coming up on Christmas, and this is when I start uh, crocheting Christmas presents. That's the one thing about us crafters, guys, that we don't have to go and spend money. Um, because if you have family members or friends or who, who who appreciate your handmade crafts, you don't have to worry about spending money. Make them something. Let's see. All right, so... Oh, and guess what? Darn it, I folded that the wrong way. Oh, well. I wanted to fold it under, but it's okay. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first mark where I want it to go. I know I want that there. So I want it here. i got to make it sure it's straight here. I'm looking at it this way and this way. And so I'm going to mark it right here. And so I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to get my glue gun. I'm going to put some glue on the end of my stick. And that then. Oh! And glue that right there and kind of push it together. Make sure it's still straight. Oopsie, not straight, not straight, not straight, not straight. Oh, let's do that again. Good, the glue didn't pull off that fast, so I can scratch that off. Let's try it again. Alright. This is a high temp glue gun, so I know why I'm trying to rush before this cools off. That was my that was the problem. I was trying to move too fat before it cooled off. straight that way and I'm going to push in you know it probably look better without it but I'm going to put it just for reinforcements oh. no that part stayed on nope it didn't but I started Trish you know, I'm going to try to do one in at a time. How about that? So I'm going to try to hold this in here first. Yes, I do. I will do one in at a time. Very cool. It's starting to look yucky. Yeah. Oh my god, I got plus on this glue. Okay, now I'm gonna put this down. And I'm gonna put the glue where I want. Lift it up and then set it down. Hold it in place and push down on this. There. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it, push it down on it. Another thing, guys, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand this outwards because I want a little bit of a yard. So I'm gonna expand this out too. Put some uh, more um, um, chipboard on it. You know, expand this around here. I just wanted to start with this part because I wanted it to come as far as this is. I plan to expand this. There we go. And it's cricket. Oh, darn it, Trish. Take it off one more time. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna put it right there. We will spot it. Yes. Set it down. I'm not gonna put it where I need it. I get it right in a minute, huh? Get my glossy accents. Or should I use? No, I'm not gonna use darker glossy accents. I'm gonna use my Turbo Tacky. Because when it dries, it doesn't, it won't be like a big old bulge of it. I'm just gonna stick it all the way around there. I need to put this in some water for my mess up this paintbrush. I'm just gonna spread that all around and it'll dry clear. I'm just brushing down just to get the rest of this mod part off the off this brush. And I gotta get up and put it in water before it uh dress too much on my brush and then I have to throw it away. It's not gonna be any use to me. Let's see. Alright. I had a little cover right here somewhere. Where'd it go? Uh, that's my stuff. I got my cleaner. And where's that cup? Where's that tiny little cup? Where did it go? No, I probably shouldn't do that. I might have just grab another one I was over there. Oh, there it is. Don't have to. Okay. So I got some cleaner that I I, I have a bottle, a spray bottle of uh, alcohol and a spray bottle of cleaner. It's uh something I got from somebody my crafty friends gave me. Well, when we used to craft together. She got it from uh, Dollar Tree. It's this stuff. It's called Awesome Wow or something. I don't know what it is. But I mixed it uh, one part water and one part that stuff. And I use it. I got a spray bottle that I use when I clean up. And I need to mix some more because I'm about out of it. This right here. It's yellow. So if you've ever been to Dollar Tree, you're not talking. Okay, so there's that one. It's going to dry. And I hope that's straight. Does it look straight? This is straight as it's gonna get. All right, so now let's put the other one on. Okay. I'm trying to think, should I put one here too? Should I put one there on each side? I think that'll look good if I put one there and there and there and there. Put four of them or just two. You know what? I'm just going to put two because I don't want to have to, be, when I try to work on these windows, I don't want to have to go through a lot of trouble working around this thing. So I'm just going to put two. See, that's the thing. You also got to think about stuff like that because uh, when you don't think ahead, then it's too late when you already made extra work for yourself. Let me see if that's what I wanted. Yep. So we're going to put... So I'm on one end first, and then I'm going to stick it under there and hold it down till it cools off. And then I put it on the other side. So guys, um, I'm trying to, I want to add some more to it, but I don't know what. But I know I wanted to add this to it, to the house. Be, oh, and besides the base of it, I want to add, you know, spend it out a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna add some steps to it. I'm gonna show you how I did that, like I did on the um, haunted house. It's easy, just a couple pieces of a uh, chipboard stacked. I'm blowing it to have it cool off faster. I tend to like to hold it for a minute, make sure it's good and secure. All right. 
So now, back a little bit. See, straight that way and straight that way. Look straight to y'all that way and that way. Nah. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little glue in just to hold it in place with the hot glue, hopefully. I'll spread it around there because I don't want it all bulky. I'm gonna push it closed. I'm gonna pull off the excess. And then I will put a whole bunch of tacky glue around it. Make sure it good and holds. My phone is doing stupid stuff. Okay. Put on my turbo tacky. I like my turbo tacky glue. I mean, um, I still haven't tried the art glitter glue. And I know people swear by it and I want to try it. But you know what? If I think I said this before too. But I'm thinking if it's a, if it's equivalent to my uh, Turbo Tacky, then I'm good with it. Because I want to try it and then I don't want to try it because then I feel that, I mean, I probably end up using it anyway as much as I craft and as much as I use glue. I'm not go it's not really going to go to waste. But the simple fact that it will cost more. Then my with my tacky turbo tacky goes is like three or four dollars, less than four dollars at Walmart. Um, where's that big one I had? Uh, if it's gonna cost way more than that and it does the same thing, then I think I would consider that being money lost, wasted. So if any of you out there that uses Turbo Tacky and uh, Art Gitter Glue and you feel it's the same stuff, let me know. I mean, not the exact same stuff, but it works just the same. One works just as well as the other. Because this does, I mean, it's the same thing as with uh, the Art Gitter Glue. It gives you just enough time to get your piece into place, but it takes hold really fast. My Turbo Tacky does the same thing. So, like I said, if it does the exact same thing, then I guess I'm really not missing on anything. I'm getting the hard glitter glue. Alright, so that is what I want to add to that. I hate that I put that on the other side, but again, not no biggie. I'm going to be covering it anyway. Again, so this is what the front of the house looks like now. And now I think I'm going to turn my attention to the top okay now I want to add some windows up here I'm not going to cut anything I'm not going to cut any holes in there because of the way this is in there it's like it's you know just there's too much work and plus it's just not gonna be possible anyway because um me cutting this door and you know I don't have and if I, unless I find my really sharp blade I'm gonna have to cut that twice in there because it's like you got to cut it here you want to go all the way through and cut it here so I'm not going to do all that. So I'm going to do like I did on the um, the haunted house. And I'm just going to add stuff. And what I did on that, which I think I probably just wait to do that. I won't add that. You know, let's put this on here. Let me see. Because I want to add something else. Oh, I want to show you how I did the chimney. I want to do the chimney. The chimney, the chimney, the chimney, the chimney, chimney. Okay, so. Uh, where is that piece that I had? I just used a food box, guys. Um, I had a piece more to go. I know I didn't put it up, or did I? Oh, there it is. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Can't use that piece. what I use. I don't know. This is kind of, it's not going to, again, going to make a difference. Just a food box. Cap and crunch. And what I'm going to do this time, I mean, I, you know, I'm going to try to cut a little bit neater this time than I did with the uh, haunted house. But all I did 
you know, well, I'm going to start cutting these strips first with my, um, because this is a real edge and it's all bent up and I don't want to use that. I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to cut these down and try to eyeball it and cut them the same, uh, look, just little strips. I don't know. This might be too big. Basically, it's going to be like brick size. I'm going to cut a few strips. I'm not really measuring them. I'm just eyeballing it. Make sure it's, it's closer to, close to or the same size. And then I'm going to get my scissors. And that's a raggedy you know, I want that. It's not a bunch of stuff. And then I'm going to cut these. I'm going to try to cut them all the same length. Now, the last time I didn't cut them all the same width, I was just cutting. I didn't care if they were the same size or not because I have seen that where some bricks aren't on a chimney or a house, they aren't all the same size. But I'm on the same size on this one. These might be too big. I don't know. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna. I think these are too big. I'm gonna start at the bottom. And I'm gonna lay them out like you would do bricks. And this time, instead of me cutting them off, I think I'm going to try to wrap them around. Oh, see. Some of these are wider than the others. I'm not going to care too much about how big, if they're the same size or not. Just more, they're just going to be more squared. Or at least the same length, if not the same width. So I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm turning the print side down. Okay, and now with this one, I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to fold it. Let's see if this works. I didn't do this on the other one. I think one also because the um the other house was smaller, so the chimney was smaller. So it would have probably been a lot more difficult to do this on the first one I did, the haunted house one that I did. So I'm going to try to wrap this around. Hmm. It works. And I'm going to get another piece. Make sure it's good on that good. Now you can Put a whole bunch of glue on and then um uh, use Mike's knife, craft knife to uh, get them on here straight. And then uh I'm gonna spread it around so I get that glue spread out. And then put them on if you can do it fast enough before the glue dries. But I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. Let's see. And I think I'm going to wrap this around that way. So that right, wraps. I'm gonna fold that like that. Put some glue on there. 
and around the side a little bit. Make sure it's on straight. I'm gonna hold it a little bit. Like I said, you all you gotta do is tack do the turbo tack. You gotta go do is hold it for a few seconds to get catch hold. It won't be completely dry, but it'll catch hold so it won't move. I want to stay the same thing that our glitter glue would do. And that's what I'm doing, guys. Alright. So now I'm going to... I'm going to do the front first and then going around each side. So... I probably should have spaced that out a little bit more. Again, again, it probably just should have been smaller pieces. But oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. All right. Let me get another piece. You see, like I said, these are, they're not exactly the same width, but length they are, but the same width they are not, which is no biggie. It's gonna look like it looks when I get done with it. Alright, so now I'm going to need to cut one. Oh crap. I should have measured one before I cut it. Maybe I can eyeball it. Too short. It's bad enough that they're not the same width. So I don't. I need them the same width, so I need them the same length at least. Oops. Let's see if this is the same width. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come around here. Put this piece on top right here. Wait a minute. Put another piece of wood because I need to make sure. I don't know why I started thinking about this, guys. And I've seen the movie. I don't think I don't have it yet. So because I haven't bought movies in a while. But um, I'm going to watch uh, um, uh, Suicide Squad. I don't know why it just popped in my head. I have no idea. And I just watched that thing last week. It was on TV. Premium channel, one of them. I don't know. But for some unknown reason, I want to watch it right now. I think I have it on my DVR, though. I think after I do the chimney, I think I'm going to call it quits on this. Um, because... Oh, here, guys... I'm the only cook in the house. Me and my autistic son and my husband. My husband don't cook. He doesn't cook. I'm not alone him in my kitchen. So I'm the only cook. So at my house, dinner is whenever whenever anybody gets hungry. I don't if I if I can get out of cooking, I'm getting out of it. So because you know I don't eat a lot. I I can just uh fix me a quick something and I don't have to have a whole meal to, for me to eat. But that dang on those other two. Man. Oh god. Stuck on your fingers or something. I don't feel like cooking. My husband who cooked me, he'll ask me, what do you want to cook tonight? Nothing. <laughs> I don't want to cook a dang thing, man. You do this. I knew he was gonna say that. What did you ask for? Okay, now cut this piece at, at an angle so that it can uh, clear this the uh, the top part of the house oh the uh, roof so I had to cut it at an angle like so cut it at an angle and I need to grab up my tulip because once I get it on there and get it stuck in it going the way I just gotta use my 
this little knife here to move it around in place. And I don't care if I get glue everywhere because it'll dry clear and won't even see it. So where's that little piece that I just cut off? I probably can use that tiny little angle that I cut off. Because I need to cut I need to put it right there. I'm gonna get it on here first, guys, then I'll show it to you. See if it fits first. I get it turned around. And I think it'll fit perfectly. And this is little piece that I just cut off the piece I just put on there. Oh, get on there. And it will fit. Oh, it's gonna fit. Rather it's gonna fit or not, I'm making it fit. a teeny bit okay you yeah, see that guys had that little piece right down here on the top on the top how this little piece is in there I don't know if y'all can see that yeah so that is how my chili is gonna look all right let's see I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do my shingles. If I want to make them and then paint the ceiling, up the ceiling, paint the roof, or cut them in the color that I want, like in cardstock or something, and then put them on. I haven't decided yet. But I know I don't want a smooth roof. I want it to be some kind of shingles or something. All right, so I'm not going to need to cut another piece and cut off the little. All right, let me see if this piece will work. Because I don't think I had to cut off as much. So the piece that I cut off will definitely not fit on the bottom half. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's going to cost a tiny piece. And it's not going to be big enough to use it any, the piece that I cut off anywhere. It'll be a very, very tiny piece. Turn so I can see it. And actually, I think I need a longer piece so I can wrap it around. I want to wrap this put this piece around. Let's turn it around. So I'm going to get a longer piece, a small, a regular size piece. The length that I needed at. Put it on there and then wrap it around. Okay. Fold that. this down for a minute or a few seconds until it catches Let's hold it for a few seconds and it's stuck okay love my topo tacky okay now where's that I can probably use it on the other side now I'm going to need another piece cut off so, let me see, are these all the same size? Yeah. So I need a shorter piece. Wait a minute, this might work. It might work. Yeah, it'll work. Now 
I'll show you this when I get this part on. Let's cut it down just a teeny bit. It's going to be a, a bit of a small, tiny piece. Okay, yeah, it works. Sometimes I'm gonna squish the glue under it. And again, there's that side of my chimney. And I'm gonna go all the way around to get all the sides. Too long. I don't want to hang it off the edge when it's not long enough to curve around to the other side. Okie dokie. Now, now this piece, and then we're going to get another piece to curve around. So I'm going to put that Yeah. Here's not gonna be quite even with that one. I should have moved that up. Probably should have used a thicker piece. Um, now I'll take this and curve that around. Oops. Hold it for a few minutes, seconds, and see now it's going to start, the layers are going to start coming apart because that is a very short fold. No biggie. And then I'll no, do it like this, I'll make sure I got the right size. There's that side. Mm. How's I'm loving this? Okay. Let's go ahead and cut some more links because I'm level three. Like I said, guys, I know. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm trying to read a couple more. A little bit short. And a little bit Okay guys, so 
that's the way my chimney looks. All the way around. And that is my chimney. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I got like I said, I gotta go feed people. So, um, y'all, uh, stay tuned for another episode of Crafting with Trish. Uh, probably a little bit of chit chat too. So, thanks guys for watching. Y'all have a crafty day. Bye.